Hey everybody, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, Part 11. We just left off at Sherlock, flying through his acid trip, through the many perils of traps that he set forth in his mind to reach this fucking pyramid. And here we are. Here we are, here we are. I can't even speak straight, I'm still upset from the last one. So, here we go guys, let's climb. Finally, a puzzle I didn't die to. The treasure of Takunuma. This feels like a way to die. Calendar, can I look at it? The calendar? It was here. So Zacharias, Sir Charles, and Marley have all known about this from the beginning. Statuette that Bernard uh, Marley, Sir Charles, and Zacharias all shared. I don't know what the rumble is, but it doesn't sound good. No keyhole or handle. There must be a way. It's probably by pulling these handles. <laughs> yep, there's that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, equals minus, what? I just punched the one underscore. Let's start this one first. Okay. One. Probably two next. One, two, three. One, two, and three. There's four. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Uh, prob I'm going to do single underline next. Underscore two. Underscore three. That means underscore four. Is there anything higher than a four? Nope, that's everything except for this last one right here. How's Sherlock Holmes imagining all of this? How did that teach you anything? How'd you figure that out?
Albeit blames the expedition members for his fate, he seeks revenge and might adopt the curse to this end. Albeit believes that he was punished by the cursed, he does not seek revenge on anyone. The sun is innocent. Suspect is small. uses an adult of small stature as the killer as he wishes people to believe that the curse what you can't make that assumption until until he's using someone short is that really what he's coming to the conclusion of Is that the end of the case? Can I talk to someone? Just one person. It's not here. What do you mean it's not here? Better not go there. I can't go here and I can't go here. Okay, something about this just doesn't seem right though. I mean... Sir Charles had the time and opportunity. It's real. I mean, I went through a lot of work to find all of this, and it seems like it's pointing towards the further I kept digging, the more it looks like it's albeit, or albeit, whatever his name is. I went through a lot of work. Albeit killed for revenge and accomplice a short stature, they should both go to prison. If that's what I found by digging, I'm liking the game, but I'm really feeling like there are a lot of loose ends here. Mr. Albeard. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. As I suspected, albeit brought him back from Brazil. What? You were both slaves <laughs> there and you escaped together, am I correct? What? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. If only I'd had the time to get <laughs> all of them. But Gulliver only did what I told him. It's for the judge to what decide. What kind of fucking weird but given shit the nature is this? Of judges, I doubt that he will be lenient towards a pygmy who kills the <laughs> That was crazy. Like, what? I can't keep saying that. It's. I guessed it. Albion despised his fellow expedition members for abandoning him. The murder was carried out by his accomplice and covered up as being the fate of the curse. They should both be imprisoned. How did that guy, though, 
how was he dressed like the spear in his hand? The guy looks like he's four foot tall. How is he going to manage a spear like that and throw with... He was made of metal. What about the skid marks and... What? Okay, guys, that was a study in green. And that was... I don't know how I feel about that. It was interesting. And the ending... <laughs> the ending, oh my god, the ending... <laughs> <laughs> well, there it was, guys. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough, and I guess I'll be seeing you in the next one. I'm going to try to keep this one short, although it might not be as short as it could be. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the, <laughs> in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>